Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that few um, navigation shortcuts. So basically in the service now we can have, um, we can use some of the shortcuts using the shortcut that can um, be easy to use our service now instance. The first thing first we'll talk about that. Let's see if you want to open your particular table, for example, incident problem or change. So you simply have to type the table name and then you just put the dot list so that it will be open that particular table. So you can see I type the incident and then type dot list. It open the table on the same view that where I was in right now. So this is my view. And if I type the incident dot list, it will be open that particular table, the list record on the same window. But instead of dot list in small letter, if you put the capital letter dot list, it will be open that into that new tab. So basically, uh, whenever you put after dot in small letter, all the operation operation is going to happen in the same screen. If you put dot and then dot uh, and then in capital letter, it will be open in a different list. Now let's talk about that. Uh, we talk about that how we can open the list. Now if we type the particular table name dot do, it will be open the form on new form on the same page. So if we do that. It will open that particular table with uh, the same tab. Similarly, if we put that dot do on the capital letter, it will be open into the new tab. So instead of do, you can similar operation can be done by uh, form method. So in table name dot form that also can open onto that new form. So either you put do or you can put the form. Next, we'll talk about that. If you put any table name, and then dot filter like incident dot filter what will be happen it will be open the record i mean it will be open the table but without any record until unless you put a filter you can put that created on today or maybe this month and then once you run that the data will be returned why we need this? Uh, why we need this? So if you remember that sys log table contains all the log. Now if you open directly dot list, it have lot of data, millions of data, and it can hang your system. Instead of that, you can put the sys log dot filter so that it will open the table and it will be hold or it will won't query until unless you put any filter. Let's say I'm putting that created on today or created on two minutes ago, and then only it will be open that. So this way you can um, reduce the time. Now, if you, uh, if you right click here, then configure, and then if you go back to this uh, called all, which can land you to this page where you can see business tool, client script, dictionary entry, whatever is running onto the particular table, you can see that instead of this doing these steps, you can simply type that syslaw.config that can help you or that can directly open this view okay so instead of going to the table right click configure all you can directly type that sys dot uh, i mean table dot config and that can open this config mode so next thing is that let's say that let's assume that you are working on a particular record like um, you opened or you are working on a particular incident and now you need to go back to that particular list. So I am working on a particular incident called 30 incident and I want to go to the list of incident. Okay. So I don't, you don't need to type here directly to this left navigation. What you can do simply under this incident, you can just uh, after this, uh, before this dot, what you can do underscore list. If you put that dot list underscore list, it will directly go to this uh, list of record instead of uh, you don't need to type here in this uh, left navigation. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.